वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फ्यूल्स आई प्रोफेसर मयूरेश मोदी लेट अस स्टार्ट्स विद द एनर्जीज फ्रॉम फॉसिल फ्यूल्स फ्यूल इट इज डिफाइंड एज अ सब्सटेंस कंपोज्ड मेनली ऑफ कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोजन व्हिच प्रोड्यूसेस अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ हीट वाइल्ड बॉइलिंग विद द oxygen this heat is utilized for heating purpose or purpose welcome to my channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials today we will discussing about the fuels i professor mayuresh modi let us starts with the energies from fossil fuels fuel it is defined as a substance composed mainly of carbon and hydrogen which produces a large amount of heat while boiling with the oxygen this heat is utilized for heating purpose or purpose produce mechanical energy with the help of prime movers like steam turbines gas turbines ic engine etc classification of the fuels on the basis of nature of existence in the form of solid liquid gases second nature of origin natural fuels it will be also said to be a primary fuels artificial fuel or you can say secondary fuels in the case of natural or primary fuel in the form of solid wood peat lignite coal in the form of liquid petroleum in the form of gases natural gas lng in the case of artificial fuel or secondary fuels coke charcoal pulverized coal petrol diesel kerosene heavy fuels lpg and cng starting with the natural fluid and in the existence with the solids wood mainly consists of carbon hydrogen and water its calorific value varies according to the kind of wood and water content in it it is not used as a commercial fuels it is a raw material for other solid fuels peat it is first stage which is derived from wood and vegetable matter and is derived from earth it contains 20 to 30 percentage of water it burns without smoke or you can say suit formation its calorific value is approx 14500 kJ per kg lignite or brown coal it is very soft inferior quality coal it contains 60% or more carbon it also contains 15% to 20% moisture it is used as a low grade fuel it is non caking type of coal it burns with large smoky flame having a calorific value equal to the 21000 kJ per kg bituminous coal it is soft and shiny black in appearance it contains about 70% carbon 20 to 30% volatile matter it burns with long yellow and smoky flame it may be caking or non caking type its calorific value is approximate 31500 kJ per kg anthracite coal it is very hard and brittle it contains 90% or more carbon it also contains 8% to 10% volatile matter it is used as a high grade fuel it is non caking type of coal it does not give smell when burning its calorific value approximate 36000 kJ per kg artificial solid fuels artificial solid fuels are the following types wood charcoal coke briquetted coal and pulverized coal wood charcoal it contains 
by burning wood in a retort with the insufficient air to the temperature of 310 degrees centigrade. It contains 80 to 90 percent of carbon. It can burn easily without smoke. Its calorific value around 28,000 kilojoule per kg. Coke. It is made by burning bituminous coal by driving out its volatile element in the absence of air. It is hard, brittle and porous. The coke formation process is, is called carbonization process. It contains 85% to 95% carbon. Its calorific value around 32,500 kJ per kg. Briquated coal. It consists of finely ground coal mix with the proper binder and proceeds together into the blocks. This increasing heating value of coal and decreases the losses. Pulverized coal. It is powder form of the coal. It is formed by crushing the coal. These fine particles atomized coal is burned by the supplying the air to it. Low grade fuel is efficiently burned by the pulverizing it. It gives better control, complete, uh, complete combustion with the less excess air, higher flame temperature, etc. Classification of the foils, fuels, liquid fuels. Liquid fuels are two types, natural liquid fuels and artificial liquid, liquid fuels. Natural liquid fuels, natural liquid fuels are following types, crude petroleum, fossil fuels, crude petroleum, it is obtained from the natural reservoir in the earth crust through wells. Distillation is the process of heating the crude petroleum and condensed the vapor thus formed the various temperatures and pressures. By distillation of the crude oil, petrol, kerosene, diesel, fuel oil, tar, etc. are obtained. Fossil fuels Due to the reaction of the vegetable matters and animals embodied with earth, after very long period at high pressure and temperature, fossil fuels are formed. Petrol Petrol or gasoline is obtained by distillation of the crude oil from 65 degree to 220 degree centigrade. Its calorific value is around 44,250 kilojoule per kg. It is used for light petrol engines, aviation and small industrial installations. Kerosene or you can say the paraffin oil. Kerosene or paraffin oil is obtained by the distillation of the crude oil from 220 degree to 345 degree centigrade. It is heavier and less volatile than petrol. Its calorific value is around 44,000 kilojoule per kg. It is used for heavy road traction, tractors and internal combustion engines. Fuel oil. Fuel oil is obtained by distillation of the crude oil from 345 degree to 470 degree centigrade. Its calorific value is 44,250 kilojoule per kg. It is heavy and non-volatile tar. It is by product of coal gas and used as a raw material for benzene. Alcohol. It is formed by fermentation of the vegetables matter widely used as a commercial fuel. Its calorific value around 26,800 kilojoule per kg. Classification of the fuels, gaseous fuels. It will be having two types, natural gaseous and artificial gaseous fuels. Natural gas, natural gas consists of mainly methane and ethane, propane, also oxygen, carbon monoxide, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, etc. Its calorific value varies from 35,500 kilojoule per meter cube to 46,000 kilojoule per meter cube. Artificial gaseous fuel. Artificial gaseous fuels are prepared gases of fixed composition like acetylene, methane, ethane, etc. 
the artificial industrial gases are the coal gas, producer gas, water gas, moon gas, blast furnace gas, cook oven gas, mass gas, etc. Coke gas or you can say the illuminating gas. It is obtained by distillation coal in retort. It mainly consists of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen, etc. Its calorific value varies from 21,000 kilojoule per meter cube to 25,000 kilojoule per meter cube. Producer gas. It is obtained by passing the insufficient air through a bed of incandescent cork or charcoal in a gas producer. It consists of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, nitrogen. It is cheaply available. Its calorific value varies from 4200 kilojoule per meter cube to 6600 kilojoule per meter cube. Water gas or you can say the blue gas. It is obtained by passing stream steam through incandescent bed of cork or cork containing the carbon. It burns with blue flame, hence also called the blue gas. Its calorific value 11,500 kilojoule per meter cube to 23,000 kilojoule per meter cube. Mon gas. It is obtained by injecting large quantities of steam in producer. It is used in gas engines. Calorific value around 5,600 kilojoule per meter cube. Blast or furnace gas. It is obtained by product in a production of pig iron. Mixture of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and methane. It contains considerable amount of dust in it. Its calorific value is low and it will be 3800 kilojoule per meter cube. Coke oven gas. It is produced by high temperature carbonization of the bituminous coal. It is a byproduct of the coke oven, mixture of methane and hydrogen. Calorific value varies 14,500 kilojoule per meter cube to 19,000 kilojoule per meter cube. Mars gas. It is a simple hydrocarbon produced in nature by decay of vegetables matter under the water. Its calorific value is 23,000 kilojoule per meter cube. Oil gas. Produced by vaporization and the thermal cracking of the oils and the steam. Its calorific value in the range of 17,000 to 25,000 kilojoule per meter cube. Requirements of a good fuels. It should be have low ignition temperature. It should have high calorific value. It should freely burn with high combustion efficiency. It should not produce harmful gases or smoke. It must produce less S. It must be cheaper and should be easily available. Its storage must be easy. Its transportation and handling should be easy. It should not react with the material of the furnace. Advantages and disadvantages of liquid fuels over the solid fuels. Advantages. Higher calorific value. Economy in storage as less space required. Easy control of the combustion. Higher combustion efficiency. Non corrosive to boiler plates. No ashes formed during the combustion. No storage losses. Better economy in handling. Clean source and free burning without dust. No wear and tear of the great bars. Easy to start and stopping of the combustion. Disadvantages, higher cost, danger of explosion. It is to be heated to lower its viscosity in cold atmosphere. Non-availability in certain areas. Costly containers are required to storage and handling. Advantage and disadvantages of gaseous fuel over the other fuels. 
So now we will see with the advantages of the gaseous fuels. Easy control of the fuel supply and hence easy and accurate control of the furnace temperature. High temperatures obtained at moderate cost can be directly used as a working substance in IC engine. Free from solid and liquid impurities. They do not produce as and smoke. They undergo complete combustion with minimum air supply, easily transported. Disadvantages These are readily inflammable. They require large storage capacity. Leakage and harmful odorless gaseous fuels can be cause serious problems. Liquefied petroleum gas LPG. It is produced from petroleum gases. It consists principally of propane and butane. This must be stored under the pressure to keep in the liquid state. At atmospheric pressure and above freezing temperature, this substance would be in the form of gas. Large quantities of the propane and butane are now available from gases and petroleum industries. They are often used as a fuel for tractors, trucks, buses, also as a domestic fuels. The calorific value of the LPG is 45,360 kilojoule kg. LNG or you can say the liquefied natural gas. It is a product of natural gas. This gas consists primarily of methane. The main source of the natural gas is oil well and earth. This gas contains about 85% to 95% methane. One property which differentiates liquefied natural gas LNG from liquefied petroleum gas LPG is the low critical temperature of about 73 degrees centigrade when the high pressure is released. LNG converts into NG that means liquefied natural gas convert into natural gas. For automobile this natural gas is known as a CNG compressed natural gas and the one used for domestic purpose and industrial use in supplied in piped and hence known as a PNG piped natural gas. The main difference in CNG and PNG is in liquid form only. When it burns, there is no pollutant, hence it is an ideal source of an energy. CNG compressed natural gas. The main components of the natural is methane 90%, ethane 4% and propane 1.7% with other contaminants with low concentrations. Due to its anti-knock property, CNG is safely used into IC engines. CNG is non-toxic and lighter than the air. It has relatively high thermal efficiency and being less pollutant, it is now being used as a regular fuel for the auto rickshaws, cars and buses as a substitute of the petrol and diesels. CNG is stored in a specially designed cylinders at the pressure about 200 bars and 60 liters capacity which are suitable for the cars. Biofuels The material of the plants and the elements is called biomass. It is organic carbon based materials are react with the oxygen in the combustion and natural metabolic process to be released the heat. A biofuel or biogas which is an asset to farming family. It produces good manure fertilizer and clean fuels. It also improves the sanitation. The animal waste, vegetable waste for decomposition, fermentation and form which combustible by the product gas is produced known as a biogas. For the farmers better quality of the fertilizer is available. Just you can see over here fixed dome type of biogas plant. So the vegetables are all the vegetable matters. It will be into digesters after supplying the water. Some of the time is taking. Then 
it forms the biogas and this gas will be controlled and it will be used to generate the electricity to making a cooking of food and each and every component of this kind of biogas plant it will be as a usable product which will be held in nature hydrogen gas hydrogen gas is a volatile gas at a room temperature but when chilled to minus 253 degree centigrade and compressed it makes the perfect fuel hydrogen's greatest features as a fuel in that causes the no pollution advantages when it is combined with oxygen in air it produces water while fossil fuels produce pollutant its calorific value per unit mass is 3 times higher than the gasoline's disadvantage of hydrogen gas it burns readily when come in contact with the oxygen in air its specific volume in gaseous form is very large if hydrogen is to be stored in a liquid form it would need very low temperature and hence cryogenic storage vessel is needed